Welcome to Friday Wrap Up. This is your boy Eclectic Enigma. I have missed y'all. Have y'all have y'all missed me too? No? You haven't? That's exactly It doesn't what matter what you think! What? Well, are you at least excited for the return of the show? You aren't? I don't give a fuck! Well, that's too damn bad. Because the Nilla Please Awards are here. The Nilla Please Awards are back, smitches. They back. Fox and Friends, sit your ass down. Matter of fact, matter of fact, have a seat. Have a seat right here. Fox and Friends asks this cat if the Flight 93 Memorial will face the same fate as the Confederate Monuments. Do you worry a hundred years from now someone's going to try to take that memorial down like they're trying to remake our memorials today? Fuck us, right? The Flight 93 Memorial was put up for people that fought against terrorists. And these Confederate monuments and statues were put up for people that were terrorists. Hmm. I mean, these, these mofos were racist, bro. And they wanted free labor from black people. And is thinking illegal yet? Somebody tell me. I want to know. Is it illegal? Don't be like that. If I had a rock, I'll bust your head, bitch. Yeah, please. please. Next up is a woman from Nashville that shot a homeless man because he asked her to move her porch. Look at that mug shot. Look at the mug shot, y'all. Look at the mug shot. Doesn't she look like an unbothered lemur? That's what I think. I mean, dude was trying to sleep. It was three in the morning and she was sitting there on her porch. He was sleeping. She was probably trying to buy drugs, right? Cause what else are you doing at three in the morning? Ain't nobody sleeping with lemurs? Well, okay, we're not talking about Bobby V right now. We're not talking about Bobby Bobby V at all. This chick shot him two times. And then she left the scene. And then she puts out this quote. I'm not a bad person. Hey, it's me. Shooting somebody and leaving them at the scene to die kind of means you're a fucked up person. You're right. You're not bad. You're fucked up. Also, a previous assault charge determines that you're lying, okay? I mean, you had a charge, but your daddy got a job because your daddy is an attorney. Plot twist, right? And daddy the attorney says that this was self-defense. Bullshit! <coughs> Bullshit! <coughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Had, had a little cough up in here. The teachers in Atlanta, they got caught up in the test scandal. You know how much their bond was? One million dollars. 25,000 for shooting somebody twice and leaving the scene, but one mil for test scores. So, God. What is this just us system doing anyway? Privilege. It's privilege. That's what it's doing. It, it, it's privilege. Anyway, you're getting a Nilla Please Award for looking like you just got the best nut of your life in your mugshot and for shooting homeless people. Nilla Please! And then we got Floyd Speed Reader Mayweather. Yeah, yeah, he defended Trump's comments about grabbing women by the, you know. Now, if you're like me, you're thinking, oh, for real? Floyd, the woman beater, defends Trump? Surprise, motherfucker. Surprise, surprise, right? Anti-hooked on phonics, Floyd Mayweather said that Trump was speaking like a real man. That's, that's locker room talk. That's what we do in the locker room. I gotta chime in here because real men do not describe sexual assault or assault in the locker room. Floyd, what kind of fucking locker room are you talking about, bro? What he's describing is deplorable. <laughs> deplorable, there's that word again, right? Anyway, if you could fucking read, you would know that he described assault. <laughs> Who am I kidding though, right? You don't care about assault, you're Mr. Assault. So carry on, Floyd. Just, just, just carry on. But uh, get one of your your interpreters to read this for you, okay? And last up is Fantasia because she wore a dress to New York Fashion Week. Oh, that's Young Jock. Oh, that's Young Jock, y'all. That's that's Young Jock. That's not that's not Fantasia. <sighs> Him said he wore it for a promo for his Love and Hip Hop or some shit. I don't know. I don't watch that crap. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. And I'm not about to watch it to see what the hell he's talking about. All I gotta say is, could you at least pick the better dress? I mean, you set up and called these some threads and, and likened it to what they wore in 300. Newsflash, homie. They were warriors. You look like you want an invitation from the booty warrior, cuz. Now I like you, now I want you. 
You look like Great Value Medea. Hello. Yeah, just take the L and keep it moving, bruh. Just take the L and keep, I mean, ma'am, take the L and keep it moving, ma'am. And I mean, you were just saying it was some thread, but dong's a thread too. Do you have that on underneath? Never mind. D don't answer that. D don't answer that. Go ahead and free yourself. Hello, please. please. Now, let's speak on that short but shorty in the White House, all right? Jamel Hill from ESPN came under fire because she basically spouted whole truths, nothing but the truths, about your boy Drumpf. She called him a white supremacist that is largely surrounded by white supremacists. I'm trying to look for the lie. I don't, I don't see that mug. Do y'all do y'all see the lie? I don't, I don't I don't see the lie. Nowhere. So you can check out her tweets about it right here. It seems legit <laughs> to me. You know, the White House jumped and responded to a regular citizen about some tweets that were actually legit. They jumped on this expeditiously, y'all. Expeditiously jumped on this joint and they called for her to be fired. I don't know how they moved so fast because when it came to Charlottesville and what happened there with the, the killing and, and the beating of somebody, they, they took their time. They took two days to say something about that. Y'all, they jumped quickly on her. Sarah, unqualified Huckabee, got up in front of the podium and said she needs to be gone. Which happens to be an ethics violation because in their position, they can't do that. Call for the firing of regular citizens, you know, ethics violations, Trump administration and ethics violations. Who would have thought, right? If the most unqualified faux prayers in history can get an attaboy for speaking his little mind, Jamel does too. And ESPN tried to come for her, but her colleagues had her back. That's what I'm talking about. So check this out. Jamel has receipts. Trump just has Twitter. I stand with Jamel and I stand with Colin Kaepernick. I'm back. And I will see y'all next week. I hope you enjoyed your bye.